I don't think the physics has much contact with mysticism. Physics aims to find a rational model for the universe. And mysticism aims to describe the universe basically as a mystery. I think in a way physics has been a progress away from mysticism. Towards a rational understanding of the universe. Stephen, when did you first realize you wanted to be a physicist? I think I knew from about the age of nine or ten that I wanted to be a scientist. Most of my activities, like playing with model fireworks or model railways or playing complicated games, was aimed in some way at finding out how the world worked around me. I was never very good with my hands, but my models did not work very well. But I was always interested in models that I could control. And I think that nowadays, I have translated that into studying physics. Because in a way, if you understand the universe, then you have control of it. I think the whole history of human thought has been steady progress in which old ideas are replaced by new ideas. Up to the 15th century, common sense told people that the sun goes round the earth. But then they discovered that the earth really goes round the sun and that gave rise to a big intellectual revolution. And up to this century, we thought the space was flat. But then Einstein showed that one could account for gravity by saying that space-time is really curved. And up to this century, we thought that you could measure the position and velocity of a particle up to arbitrary accuracy. But then in this century, we discovered a new kind of theory called quantum mechanics, which tells us that you cannot measure both the position and velocity of a particle simultaneously to arbitrary accuracy. The more accurately you measure the position, the less accurately you know the velocity, and vice versa. So this introduces chance into the laws of the universe. Yes, because particles do not have a well-defined position. Einstein could not accept this element of probability or chance. He said that God does not play dice. But all the evidence we have suggests that there really is an element of randomness in the universe. If Einstein's general theory of relativity is correct, the universe began with a singularity called the Big Bang. Now, because it was a singularity, all the laws of physics broke down. And therefore, we cannot predict how the universe began. Doesn't this sound like a good argument for the belief that God created the universe? A few years ago, I was at a conference on cosmology that was held in the Vatican. And at the end of the conference, the participants were granted an audience with the Pope. The Pope said it was fine for them to inquire into the early history of the universe, but they should not ask questions about the Big Bang itself. Because that was the work of God. However, at that conference, I would proposed that Einstein's general theory of relativity would have to be modified, and that modification would mean that there was no singularity and all the laws of physics would hold at the Big Bang. Oh 
And if that is the case, we can completely predict the state of the universe from the laws of physics. What you're saying, does it mean that the universe isn't caused? That's right. The universe does not have any beginning or end. It does not have any cause or consequences. It simply is. The consequences of what you're proposing must be absolutely staggering. Well, most scientists don't like to think too much about philosophical mm. questions. They feel that such questions are really badly defined. Does that include you? Mm. No, not including me. So exactly what kind of implications fall out of your proposal? Obviously, implications about the existence and the nature of God. Is there a God who intervenes in the universe, or one who wound up the clock to set things going? But I think that most scientists still reserve judgment on how the universe was set up in the first place. Whether that was an act of God, or whether that too was subject to the laws of science. What I'm suggesting is that it was indeed subject to the laws of science. Even in string theory, the universe would be self-contained. It would not have any outside cause. But we don't have any evidence that the universe... John Schwartz is one of the developers of string theory. Ed Whitten did a lot of the mathematical support work. I don't know why it should be, but it's been uncanny, really. The, the way uh, the very sophisticated mathematics has proved to be really useful in getting a fundamental understanding of, of nature. Uh, it's a total mystery to me why that should be. Yeah, so in a sense, the uncertainty principle is telling us that the universe is behaving in a completely chaotic way, or in, in, to a certain degree. So one might say that that was the intervention of God. But it would be a rather strange kind of God. Because he would be acting completely in a, in a completely random way. So I think that the randomness of quantum mechanics is really a mismatch between quantum mechanics and us. In its own terms, quantum mechanics is deterministic. But there's a mismatch between quantum mechanics and us which makes us think of it as being undeterministic. So Stephen's asking Ed, what, you, what do you mean? It's as if we think that nature should play dice with cubic dice, and nature has chosen instead to use an octahedral dice. So we interpret it by claiming that quantum mechanics is undeterministic. Oh yes, it's just that we were under the illusion that we should be able to determine more about the universe than quantum mechanics would allow. Stephen, do you think of the observer as part of the quantum mechanical system? If you apply quantum mechanics to the whole universe, that would include the observers. My, my view is roughly that when you do quantum mechanics of the whole universe, it's deterministic. <laughs>